Let's be real with each other. We were all elated, excited, ready for uh, the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition, the, the trilogy uh, remaster. And then when it launched, things went south really, really fast. They truly, truly did. And uh, Rockstar, uh, well, they were put back on their heels, which doesn't happen very often at all. And if you didn't know, the PC version of the Definitive Edition was pulled from stores altogether because of the bugs and the glitches and the issues. Well, Rockstar has made a very rare statement. Rockstar doesn't make a lot of statements on things. They really, really don't, but this was big enough that they felt they needed to. So let's go over it. They said, we want to provide an update regarding the unexpected technical issues that came with the launch of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. They said they apologized to everybody who encountered issues in the games, and we know there was a lot of issues in there. And they said that this, this trilogy is iconic to them. They're fans of it. They know their fans treat this very, very seriously, and uh, it didn't launch in the state that met their standards of quality. And uh, it, you know what? Once again, we live in a reality where games don't launch finished anymore, so if we're going to be in that reality, at least having the publishers and developers be transparent and open and honest is good. So to me, this is good. They said there's a new title update on the way in the coming days, and it will address a number of issues. It looks like they're going to work their way through the issues via updates. They also said they're going to add the classic PC versions of Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas back to the Rockstar Store as a bundle. And then anybody who purchased Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the definitive edition for PC, would get these classic versions in the Rockstar Game Launcher library at no, do at no cost. So they're going to update us when they'll be back in the store. They're going to give them to everybody who purchased it on PC at no cost as well. And then I guess they're going to try to fix this with planned updates and, and patches as they go forward. They said they're going to address the technical issues and improve each game moving forward until it reaches their standards of quality, which, let's be real, they're, they're being honest there. Rockstar has a high standard of quality to the point where they will push it. I mean, they won't release a game for years until it's ready to go out. So I believe them when they say this was unforeseen technical issues. I know there's going to be people out there who say, doesn't matter, they don't release it if it's broken. And I agree, I agree, but eh, sometimes stuff happens. At least they're pivoting now uh, to, to be open and honest about it, admit fault, and correct the fault, which is more than a lot of them out there. And if you're one of the people that take this to another level, they even said in this message, please don't harass our, our workers. If you're one of those people that likes to harass and threaten through a, a monitor or screen or your phone over a video game, uh, you probably need some patches and updates yourself. Let's just be real.